Hello all. In this video, I'm going to explain the easiest sorting technique, bubble sort. It's very simple to implement because it's just simply comparing the current element with the next element. And if the current element is greater than the next element, we have to swap it. So let's see the algorithm. It's very easy. First, here I'm taking elements. Let's take an array with four elements, 49, 36, 16, 8. Here, in the first step, I have to consider this is the current element, this is the next element. If the current element is greater than next element, we have to swap to these variables. So updated array will be like, 36, 49, there is no change to the 16 and 8 value. This is the first position, second position, third position, and fourth position. Now, I'm I have to consider this is the current element. I mean to say this one. So this is the current element. And I have to check with this element. If the current element is greater than to the next element, we have to shift these two elements. So updated array will be like 36, 16, 49, and 8. Again, I have to check these two elements because 49 is a current, because I have to check the third position. So here is the third position. I'm having 49, 49 greater than 8. So updated array will be like 36, 16, 8, and 49. If you observe, the highest element in the given list is reached the position. Highest element position is the last, right? So it's reached. Again, we have to consider the first element if it is highest. Again, we have in the second iteration. So this is the first iteration output. Now I'm going to start the second iteration. In the second iteration, I'm going to get the output like 16, 36, 8, and 49. Now I have to compare these two values in the second iteration. So 36 is greater than 8, right? So again, I have to shift these two values. There is no change in the first value, 8, 36, 49. If you observe, the second highest element reached its position. Second iteration also done. In the third iteration, I'm going to compare current variable with the next variable, 16 greater than eight. So condition is true, right? So if the condition is true, I have to swap these two numbers. So eight, 16, 36, 48. This is the expecting output of sorting elements using bubble sort. So within three iterations, I'm successfully sorted my given element list. Let's see the program. First, in main method, we have to declare, we have to initialize the values. So here I'm going to initialize the values with the data type. First I'm taking an array. Here my array name is A and here I'm giving the size of the array is 10. Next, I'm going to take a variable N and I'm going to take a variable called a swap. So we know what is a swap, right? So we have to use the variable whenever we are going to shift the values. Next, I'm taking i and j values. That's it. My initialization part is done. So by executing this line, I'll be getting memory for 
array A and the value N, swap I and J. First, I have to ask user to enter elements, number of elements, N, so that I can ask user to fill the array, right? So first, let me print. Enter total number of elements. I'm going to assign the value to a variable called n. As n is an integer number, here I'm using percentile d. So now, by reading this message, user will give the number of elements and I'm going to assign that number to n. Now, I'm going to ask user to enter the elements. So here, printf elements into array. Enter. How many elements? N elements, right? So enter N elements. So please observe here. Let me execute it. By executing this line here, I'm giving n value 3. So first, enter three elements because here I declared my n value 3. That means I'm going to create the memory for the array A with three element space. So now let me execute till here. Let me explain. So if you observe, my execution will always start from main method. After main method, I have initialization part. If you observe here, first initialize, initialized value is A. So I have to declare array A with 10 memory allocation. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Consider this is array A, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. Successfully created array with 10 space. Now I have to create memory allocation to the variable n and swap and i and j. So here, this is nth memory and this is swap memory and this is i and this is j. Memory allocation is successfully done. Next here, I'm asking user enter total number of elements. For example, here I'm giving n value four and I'm assigning that four to variable n. So here my n value will be four, right? So n value is four. So here I'm asking printf enter four elements. By reading this message, I'm going to enter four elements I have to store those elements in the array A. So let me write the code how we can store the elements in the array A. So here I'm using for loop for, for syntax is for initialization, condition, increment or decrement. So here I'm taking increment because I have to shift the position, right? So here, if you observe, I started with zero. So I'm going to use scanf now to read the n elements from the user. All those are integer elements. That's why here I'm using modular division D. So I'm going to assign A of I. So here I added one loop. So here, my i value is zero. So here is the memory location of i. Next condition, zero less than n value four. Condition, 
true if the condition is true i have to execute the block of code in this code scanf is used to read the function read the value from the user so here enter percentile d element user will enter for example 10 now i am going to assign the i am going to assign this 10 to the variable a of i what is a of i value a of 0 so i have to assign this 10 to a of 0 here if you observe in the array first location is a of 0 i assigned 10 again i value will increment 0 1 1 less than 4 condition true if the condition is true i have to assign a of i value 1. So here I, again I am going to enter b value 8. For example, next value 8. I am going to assign that to a of 1. So here 8. Like that here I am going to enter 4 values because here I entered n value 4. So if you observe here, let me run this. 4 values. Enter 4 elements. 12. C compiler will ask you to enter four values. So four values successfully entered, then only the console, console exit the terminal, right? So now I'm successfully read the value from the user and store them in the array. Now I'm going to write one more for loop. Again, I have to follow the same syntax here instead of n here i am giving n minus 1 because i have to compare two values so for i is equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 i increment if the condition is true again i am going to write one more for loop with the j value here i'm giving j value 0 j less than n minus i minus 1 so why i'm using n minus i minus 1 because every time i have to shift from current position to the next position using this formula we can shift our compiler from current position to the next value so if the condition is true I'm going to check whether the current value that is a of j value is greater than a of j plus one. It's nothing but next element. If the condition is true, then the condition is true. I have to swap the values. So swap is equal to first I have to store a of j then i have to declare a of j is equal to a of j plus one we know how to swap right using third variable the same syntax finally i am going to assign swap value to the variable a of j plus one is equal to swap so if you observe here so let me explain this code. So here I have 10, 8, 9, 6. First I assigned I is equal to 0. 0 less than n minus 1 nothing but 4 minus 1 please observe here if the condition is true i have to jump to this loop right so again i have a j value j is equal to 0 less than n value 4 minus what is the current i value current i value is 0 0 minus 1 4 minus 1 so 0 less than 3 condition true if the condition is true i have to follow this if a of j what is j value 0 greater than a of j value 0 plus 1 so nothing but a of 1 what is a of 0 value that is 10 10 greater than a of 1 a of 1 8 condition is 
true. If the condition is true, I have to swap the values. Swapping 10, 8 here and 10 here. So after first iteration, my values are like 8, 10, 9, 6. There is no change in 9 and 6. Again, J value will increment. Now, J is 1. 1 less than 3. Condition true. If the condition is true, A of J. What is current J value? 1. Greater than A of J plus 1. 1 plus 1, 2. A of 1 is nothing but 10. Greater than A of 2, 9. Condition true. If the condition is true, I have to swap these two values. So my updated array will 8, 9, 10, 6. The next iteration, J will become 2 now. 2 less than 3, condition true. If the condition is true, I have to A of 2. I have to check A of 2, 2 plus 1, A of 3. Here I'm applying. A of 2 value. So A of 2 value is 10 greater than A of 3. A of 3 value is 6. Condition true. If the condition is true, again I have to shift these two values. And the final array 8, 9, 6, 10. If you observe here, the highest element of the given array reached end position of the array. So successfully first iteration is done. Now after first iteration, given array is here I mentioned in the purple color. So this is the final array. This is the output of first iteration list. Now, second iteration. So in this iteration, I value will increment by 1, 0 plus 1, 1. Again, sorry, here, I plus plus, now I value is 1. For J is equal to 0. So here I value 1 and J value is 0. And 0 less than n minus i minus 1, n value 4 minus i means minus 1, minus 1, 4 minus 2, so 2, right? So here I can directly write the condition 0 less than 2, condition is true. If the condition is true, I have to check the statement. If a of j, what is j value? 0 greater than a of j plus 1, so 0 plus 1, 1. So A of 0 value, this is 0th position, that is 8 greater than 9. Condition false. So it will jump to this statement. Again, I value will be 1. 1 less than 2. The condition is true, right? If the condition is true, we have to check the condition. If A of J, what is the current J value? 1 greater than A of J plus 1, 1 plus 1, 2. A of 1, 9, greater than 6. Condition is true. If the condition is true, I have to swap these two values. So now I'm going to get 8, 6, 9, 10. In the second iteration, so these are the values of the array. Again, J value will increment by 2. 2 less than 2. Condition false. If the condition falls, again, it will jump to I value. I will become 2 now. So I plus plus, right? So now I value is 2. I is equal to 2. So here, 2 less than, I'm checking the condition, 4 minus 1, 3. Condition is true. If the condition is true, I have to check j is equal to 0 less than 0 less than n value. 4 minus i value is 2 minus 1. 4 minus 3, 1. 0 less than 1. Condition 
true if the condition is true i have to check this a of j value is 0 greater than a of 1 a of 0 value 8 greater than a of 1 value 6 condition true right if the condition is true again i am going to shift these two values 6 8 9 10 so again j value will increment by 1 so here 1 less than 1 condition false if the condition false again it will jump now i value is 3 now i'm checking the condition 3 less than 3 condition false all these conditions are false if you observe here i got the correct output the given elements are sorted here so now i have to print these elements right so i have to add few more lines so let me add few lines to the code so till here my loops are working fine now i have to print sorted ordered array right so here i'm going to use printf sorted array elements are So I have to print all the elements from the array. So that's why here I'm going to use for loop for i is equal to zero, i less than n, because I have to initialize all the element. I have to print all the elements, right? So print f. I want to print each and every element in a new line from A of I array. So that's it. Let me execute it. So I have to close. It's closed. It's closed here. I have to close this for loop. So here I'm going to enter 10, sorry, 4, 10, 4, 4 elements, 23, sorted array elements are 0, wait a minute, just a minute. First here I mentioned array elements and I'm storing my array elements point. Scan is percentile D. I think it's here one open. And of this because four twenty three. 45, 12, 78. Sorted array elements are 12, 23, 45, 78. Sorry, array spelling. Four elements, 10, 9, 8, 6. Expecting order is 6, 8, 9, 10. 6, 8, 9, 10. Guys, please remember one thing. Whenever you are going to write your PPS exam, please try to write the definition of the concept as well as one example. Please write down at least one example program for uh, each question. Thanks, everybody.